Hey guys, Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 11 of Carol and Tuesday. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah. Okay, so we're going all day this today. All day to the next week. My God. Lord. Stop raining. God damn. What's up, buddy? You okay? Thank God they're showing this part over here. Oh, crap. I wouldn't be surprised if Sue Bell sent that ish. Are you sure? He's about to have like a whole 30 minute segment on him. <laughs> My buddy see that or Mr. Towel, possibly, I don't know. No, he's too nice. I don't think somebody nice would do that.
keep, keep going. Stretch it out. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you do anything? Are you serious? You know, I really hate this fucking bitch. Hmm? Uh, I still hate her. It's okay.
Of course you will want to fucking say something. Oh, thank God. Don't do that. No, but I still think it's too bad. What's wrong? Yeah, he'll have it. It wasn't her. It wasn't Mama. What she said. <laughs> the hell? She wasn't. Mm. No, she didn't do it.
that sucker right there. Come on, give it to her now. Mm -hmm. I did. Come on now. And you made her cry. No, that's not true. Your brother came. But see, you don't know that, though. Why is it that Adam now, her mom, I hate her mom. I, I mean, I, I've said it once before, but I'll say it again. I really hate her mom. Like, oh my God. I was not expecting for her guards or whoever to come and get them about to kill Tuesday in this episode. And so now... Cause see, the funny thing was, and I think I said it, like, maybe a couple of weeks ago, there was going to be a point where if it was her brother, but since her brother didn't take her home, somebody else was going to come and get her. And Gus, Rhodey, and Carol were going to have to go where Tuesday lived to see her world 
and literally convince her mom to let her stay there. And I don't, I don't remember when I said it, but I think it was the episode when her brother came in. And I'm guessing that's what they're going to do. But because of the fact is that they don't <clears throat> put previews at the end of this episode, or really any of the episodes, I have no idea what the heck is going to go on. Um, I'm stumped. <laughs> I mean, technically this one other YouTube channel like posts is, like screenshots of the previews. And I'm like, that, that doesn't really help me with anything. I just, I want to see a video preview with like little things. But like, I kind of saw it a little bit last night. I just barely remember it though. But come on, man. They were doing such fine. And I mean, yes, even though Sabelle, yes, she, she got what she deserved. She's arrested and she's currently in jail. And she might be there, not for like the rest of her life. Maybe for three, four months. But if she does good, she might get probation. And such, but because of the fact is that, yes, Sybil was very highly obsessed with Tuesday, and she never made a promise with her. She did talk to her about this, but there really was no promise. But yes, Tuesday doesn't really stand up for herself in a way. She's the shy girl of the two, while Carol has a strong opinion and voice about it. I mean, because you know why? Because, you know, she's black. Think about that. Um, but I have met people who are also, like, any colors of the rainbow, and they can also stand up for yourself, whether, you know, you are shy, but when you think of a black woman, automatically, we have attitude and such, and they always deem us <clears throat> as the mad black woman all the time, or a black woman who has a lot of attitude, especially if you're working in, um, finance, uh, entertainment, anything, if you, cause like, uh, one person who I really, really liked who was on a TV show and she was finding love and they did something different with her. They had her watch it live instead of doing what they normally done, done. And they were like, well, she got angry and stuff. And so in the tabloid, she was deemed as the mad black woman, the angry black woman, which, you know, it is in a way a stereotype. But when you look at someone like me, you automatically think that. So like, oh, okay, she's like that. But I, I really don't know what the heck is going to happen next week. Anything, honestly, really could happen. But, girl, just, oh, my God. Uh, are, like, are they going to get her in time for, like, the finale? Because if she's not there, then technically it possibly automatically goes to Angela. And they need this. And especially as Carol was saying to Tuesday, you, we need this because if we don't win, we got to go back and find jobs again. We're singing on the bridge again until something comes up once again. And who knows when that's going to happen. This is like a once in a lifetime experience and you never know when it is going to come back. Yes, you have like uh, performances on the bridge. They're going to get a lot more fans because of this. And then at the same time, you also have YouTube. But like, think about that. Let's be a little rational about this. Think about how many... Big, 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 whether, like, well, because we're thinking about real people right now. Um, from YouTube, really, music. I'm not talking about, like, beauty gurus, um, people who do comedic stuff and, stuff and anything else. Think about people in the music entertainment business. I've only known, I think, like, what, three or four? One is Justin Bieber, that one dude who I, and three other people whose names that I really don't remember, but, um... Yeah, I haven't seen anyone else make it as big as those people are currently right now. So, I don't know. It, it's just like a, a one in five chance that if they lose, this is what they got to go back to. And so, I mean, but you can clearly see no matter how many times when the opening pops up that there's like um, golden confetti like sprinkling down. So that has to be the point where they won. And I'm also glad that Itigun, like, finally, he put his personal thing aside between with Carol and Tuesday to just judge them. But then he had to say the smart ass from the like, comment before everything. Like, dude. I mean, I know he's a big t <laughs> DJ, but God, I, I love him, but then I also hate him. And sometimes he can be a really, really big jerk. And sometimes you just want to be like, mmm. But still, having also... Angela making her number one fan cry. She, that kicked her right in the face. Once she figured out it wasn't her. 
are. So now you just lost your biggest freaking fan and that's on you. And she was working for you. So now where's she going to go? You're going to have like, mm, one day you're going to be walking around. You're going to just so happen to walk past her and be like, Hey, you want your job? Eh? But like, not after the way you yelled at me. It made me cry. Mm -mm. No. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 11 of Carol and Tuesday. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next Thursday for episode 12. Bye, guys.